So for the afternoon studies, I have here by my side Shido Shido Luis Nogueira, and by my right side I have Uchideshi Caio Santos, Shido Chu Caio Santos. And now we are going to uh, study once again uh, Shizen studies, um, aspects and uh, thoughts, um, techniques of our own culture. So now we are talking about Baku Gishi. This Baku comes from Shibaru, which is to to bind, to tie, and Kishi comes from Kishi, which means knight, the one that now riding a horse. So, we're going to see the way that the Shizen people uh, used to do, ways that they had to, uh, to deal or to fight against a knight that was coming. So, please, let's go to this to show us some forms. These are very simple and crude, and uh, uh, forms that are easy of understanding, but yet very effective forms. For all these techniques, we have to remind that he, he could be, he could be or not, riding a horse. So, let's see. Exactly. So, first of all, in this, in this first kawaii, I'll ask you to show one more time. What he's doing is, he is um, attempting to conceal or to hide the bow from the enemy. So, in this, in this position, the body is in, in, in just one axis, and then he may conceal the ball behind him, on his back. So, when he comes, all of a sudden he steps away, and into him, at the same time, this, as I was, as I was talking, could be um, a strike against the horse itself, or against the, the enemy, the foe. Exactly, he would fall back. Very nice. And then, as Socialist is gaining, gaining over him, is gaining um, terrain, gain, gaining mind, and he's already using the tip of the bow to lock him. So we can catch some details here. Uh, you can see that we have this, uh, this supporting point here, just now by, by his shoulder and his arm. Um, uh, uh, unable to do any kind of movement or to cut by any, any means. Now, let's say that this time the enemy is coming in a Kesagiri. Let's see how Kuchido Shiru is. Show us the angles and the movements. That is one form, it's, it's important to see that uh, this is a fast movement, a quick movement, sometimes performed even during night. And uh, what we have is that his left foot is being used to lock tight the ball on the, on the ground. Of course, he was doing this slowly, so you could all see, but this is an impact. Then moving on, you would put him down. And now using the, uh, an angle from um, from his armpit or from his arm, from the lower part of his arm, using the hips as a supporting point and once again uh, making the enemy unable to move or to use his arm. Exactly, let's see one more time now. Let's say that, let's suppose that now the enemy will come in a tsuki and the socialist will show us how to in a a round movement uh, aimed for his head. You can imagine, you know, you can uh, imagine the, the feeling, the size of the ball and the kind of leverage that he would have and the, the huge impact that this could mean. When he he can move on. Locking once again with his foot. Always making sure that he couldn't use his, his angle back to cut and having here his wrist lock. He could also step on that side, but then of course he would have his, uh, his neck compromised. So uh, he's a little in, in a loose form here, but we could have his, his neck pressed. So these were examples. We had a great time here in, uh, in this current event studying. Um, during this afternoon, anthropological explanations and points of view uh, of Bakugishi. Thank you very much.